So, you guys remember the last time that we were on Novaria? Welcome back! You can tell with the ice there. It's a cold town! Winter has come at last! Sorry. I mean, come on. It's the only thing I love from that movie. In fact, it's probably the only thing that anyone knows from that movie. Let me say that again. It's probably the only thing that anyone loves from that movie. By the way, apparently my service retrofits mod is not working for this mission. I don't know why. Maybe they just didn't cover this mission. Oh. All on base personnel have been processed. Integration protocols updated successfully. Who needs a ladder? Welcoming Cavidia down to the Cal Commander. Looks like we found the control center. Keep your eyes open. Getting close. Got your back, boss. This'll take a while. Commander, you've got enemies inbound and we can't wait. Someone's gotta get those defenses down ASAP. Javik, take the controls. Save some of them for me. Be ready, Commander. You're gonna get swarmed. Commander, I've been flushed from cover. Retreating to minimum safe distance. No problem. Cortez, get out of there. We'll wait for your all clear, then relay to the strike force. Warning. Warning. Security breach. Initiating lockdown. This machine just cut all communications. Just bring down their defenses. We'll worry about them later. Shutdown requires a synchronized command. Defense system deactivated. General Order 7 slash 7 triggered. Establish contingency defenses. Commander, the enemy is deploying to the landing pad. And that's where we need to go. can hail Cortez. Let's move up. Clear the deck and fire a flare to signal Cortez. The enemy has returned! Readying flare. Are we clear? Fire up that bad boy! Flare away! Cortez, I read you. Come in. There you are, Commander. Had to get through the interference. Area clear. Signaling the strike force. Wait. Scan's picking up something coming your way. Proximity alert. Deploying armed response. Atlas! Give it everything you got. Anyone wounded? 
wounded? That shouldn't matter. Copy that, Lieutenant. This was a major victory, Commander. A crippling blow to Cerberus operations in this sector. Now all we have to do is maintain control of the facility. Cerberus won't make that easy. And we won't make it easy on them. Thanks to you, we can use their own defenses against them. Tell your team they did good, Commander. You should be proud. Thank you, sir. That's all. Hack it out. We got an advanced fighter squadron. That's where Miranda would be if we had them on. Commander. Wei Qing. My, my boy, I used to live on Shang-Chi with my son. It was a beautiful world and we were happy there. He had been fascinated with you. He listened to all the broadcasts about you. He never truly believed that you had died. I think one day he would have joined the military, like you, if he could have built up the nerve. Then the Reapers came, and we yet somehow escaped with our lives, fleeing to the Citadel. We were told that we were safe, but we were so hungry. We didn't have enough to eat. I told him not to, but Huang stole credits to buy us food. My son was only 18, but they shipped him off to some prison. They pressed a rifle into his hands and shipped him off somewhere, and now I'll never see him again. I don't know where or how he died, but he did, and they'll never remember what he did. But I will. And you better do too. Liara, beacons, Shepard, ships are seeding my beacons through the galaxy, but we can't risk that they'll remain undiscovered. After what happened on Thessia, this is something I need to address. Our successors need all the help they can get. I've identified several species that may shape the next cycle. The aliens in the Alpha Centauri system, the Kyrick, and the Yogg. We need to place the beacons close to their homeworlds, but not so near as to adversely influence their primitive civilizations. It's difficult to balance, but their moons should be suitable. I have keyed the coordinates into the galaxy map. I know we have little time to spare, but I feel it's something that we need to do. Okay then. Travel to the Alpha Centauri to place the first beacon. Now let's see, is this actually on my galaxy map like she said? It's over there, no wonder we never knew where it was. Hidden away. It is not. Uh, see, this is what I mean about how I'm going to have to go around from system to system and literally look at every plant to try and match what's in the journal to see if I can actually do this. Or if I'm just going to have to ignore it and just accept this is an incomplete aspect of the mod that I'm literally unable to actually do right now. I don't see any Alpha Centauri system. It literally feels like there is no Alpha Centauri system whatsoever. Ah, so yeah, I feel like these are things that I love the idea of them, but it feels like I don't have the means to actually do them right now. It's like incomplete, I guess. I don't know. Unless there's something I'm doing wrong or don't have something correctly in place in order to be able to actually do it. I don't know. Okay. 
Okay, it looks like everyone has kind of uh, had a mission to pass. Tally's not there anymore, so I'm guessing she's kind of sobering up. Let's just make our rounds, see if anybody has anything new to say. I doubt it, but we may as well check. Commander. Auxiliary power units are depleted to 82.04% capacity. This should be corrected. Yeah, I'll get it before we go in atmosphere again. I will run a diagnostic on it. Edie, we've got five of them. According to the diagnostic, we now have four. Well, there you go. Hello, Shepard. Mission. Horizon. No fear. I hadn't joined up with you yet. Fine. The Dead Reaper, then. Really? The husks just ran up to us. Have you ever noticed that I carry a sniper rifle? You're the one who likes things at short range. And you prefer to keep everything at a distance. From husks? Absolutely. Creepiest thing we fought. The Thorian. Your turn. I'm going with the Rachni. The Queen? But we didn't fight her uh, either time. No, the little ones. They look like spiders and they scuttle right toward you. I thought you liked it when things got up close and personal. <laughs> Not when it's spiders. <laughs> I'm with you there, Tally. Though, honestly, hmm, what would I consider the creepiest enemy that we have faced? I mean, the Thorian was actually not a bad choice. Um, but honestly... Hmm. I mean, we, we gotta think about some of the things I think we've encountered in this game. Because um, we can think about some of the other stuff. Like, even in the previous game, there were some creepy things with the collectors. Like, you know, the Scions. But I don't know how creepy they were compared to some of the other stuff that was in here. I mean, the Adjutants because they're fresh on my mind, but those are pretty creepy when you think about it. Then there's the Banshees. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Ugh. But my goodness. Yeah. Quite a few creepy enemies. Talk to you later. Well, you sound better. Guess you got yourself all sober and everything. All good, Commander. Commander? Where's Adams? He's talking with Chakwas. We're all machines. Carbon or silicon. Is there really a difference? People feel emotion. Artificial intelligence is programmed. Punch me, I get angry. I don't choose. I just get angry. Our emotions are programming. That's not the same thing. Our emotions are a natural response. Disease, parasites, lions ate their prey alive. Nature can be horrible. So now you're siding with the Reapers? Just because I'm saying the Reapers are alive doesn't mean I want them to stay that way. But we need to break free of nature and open our minds to new forms of life. So you believe the Geth share the same rights and liberties as any organic being? If that Geth is minding his own business, he has more rights than Cerberus. Despite my disgust for Cerberus, they're still human. The Geth are just machines. We're all machines. Carbon or silicon. Is there really a difference? People feel emotion. Artificial intelligence. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm siding with Adams on this one. Genetics don't make us alive. It's our self-awareness, curiosity, and capacity to evolve. Well put, Commander. Of course you'd say that. You two are practically machines yourselves. <laughs> Jeez, thanks, Chakos. Good to see you, Commander. How are you, Commander? I mean, after all that we dealt with with uh, the Geth and such... Like, I'm sorry, but no. I gotta disagree with you on that with the Geth, uh, Chakwas. Good to see you. Yeah, 
I have a feeling everyone's all talked out. A pleasure to see you. Hello, Shepard. If Miranda hadn't survived, her name would be up here too. We've had a pretty death-free run, for the most part, but uh, there's quite a few extra names that would be up here on this list. Um, I wonder if I use the mod. There's a mod that you can get. You remember how I said it's not possible to uh, have Shepard survive if every squad mate dies? Well, now there's a mod that makes that possible where you can literally import a save where Shepard will somehow survive. J Joker will be able to actually pull Shepard up onto the Normandy and literally all the other squad mates, like every squad mate dies. All 12 of them die. So it's literally just you and Joker and Edie that survived the suicide mission. I'm not sure if I would ever actually want to do a run like that, but the idea of that actually intrigues me of what a run like that would be like and seeing all their names here on this list and how different things in the game play out with all of them dead. Just, wow. The idea of that just kind of like blows my mind. Like, whoa. <laughs> you know? How incredibly different of a run that would be. I'm not sure if I would ever actually want to do that, but I would like to actually see someone else do it. Like, or make a compilation video on it, I'm sure that that's possible now that a mod like that exists. So that would be interesting. But uh, at this point, like I said, the only thing that's now really left for me is to try and figure out what's going on with some of these other ones here. It bugs me that these things are just here and I cannot remove them from my journal, you know? It's 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 annoying. It's so annoying. Ugh. But anyways, I'm gonna have to figure out what the deal is with some of these, and uh, see if it's if if it's literally just un uh if it's if it's literally incapable of having me finish it. I don't know. But I mean, the fact that I could actually purchase the bomb to be able to accomplish this mission, but. I don't know. I'd have to re-figure out where every city is. I may be able to look them up, Google the plant locations. I don't know. But uh, I doubt it's going to be something that's going to let me be able to do it on camera. But I will try and see if I can figure out what to do with these. And then when we come back, we will be doing Priority Cerberus Headquarters. The Elusive Man's Headquarters have been located and the Alliance is prepared to attack to recover the Prothean BI that holds the key to the Catalyst. Once the attack is launched, the Alliance will be fully committed to the final fight against the Reapers. Assault the base when ready, aka this is the point of no return. So, we will be assaulting the collect the, uh, the Collector, <laughs> back in Mass Effect 2, the Cerberus base and their head the Cerberus headquarters when we return. Stay tuned.